What's going on streamers? So today's video, I wanna show you how you can easily take any of these overlays that you see here on the screen and bring them into OBS Studio using a specific plugin. But before we get into that, I wanna talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is own.pro. This is gonna be a plugin that's gonna be installed on OBS Studio. And it's gonna give you access to over hundreds of overlays. And these are full stream packages. It's gonna give you everything you're gonna need as soon as it's installed. And if you're looking for music or sound effects, they have Epidemic Sound, which is going to be DMCA free to you. So be sure to go ahead and use the link in the video description below. That way you can browse through all of this. And it is subscription based with very few free options. So if you are wanting to invest into this for your stream, you can choose any of these types of subscriptions. Just make sure you use the promo code CREOVOX to save 50% off of whichever plan you choose. All right, so first things first, we need to make sure that OBS Studio is installed and updated and that you had linked your streaming platform to own.pro. That way you can install this plugin. Once you have that done, we're gonna jump over to our OBS Studio. We're gonna go over here to Tools and go down to Owned Pro. What this is gonna do is open up a window very similar to this. It's probably gonna ask you again if you need to link your stream channel to owned.pro. That way you'll be able to see the screen here. This will give you pretty much all the overlays and everything, but we're gonna look at the free ones here. So you get five free ones to try, and I'm gonna show you how to customize them. So a void is what I have right here, behind here. This is a void. This is one of the free ones, as you can see here. And we're gonna look at Pure. So I'm gonna click on Pure, click Install, and it's gonna install it, and it's gonna give you the sources that you need, as well as the scenes that will be tied to those sources. So we're gonna go through each one of these and I'm gonna show you how you can easily customize this stuff. It's very minimal customization that you need to do to get everything started. So for the live scene, this is giving you a few different options. So it's very easy to mess with this. You just click on it and it's gonna show you down here that this is the one that's there. So I'm gonna hide it away. I'm gonna click on this one. I'm gonna hide it away. Click on this one and hide it away one more time. I prefer without the information because I'm gonna keep these one on, on top. Now, if you don't want these on top, that's fine too. You can just go over here as I clicked and click on that and it's gonna get rid of all of it. So that way all you have is just the webcam box. Now, if you're wanting to add in a game or anything like that, it's gonna be an additional source. So I'm gonna click on the plus and you're gonna have all these additional sources. So for game, it could be either video capturing device if you're using a capture card. It could be window capture if you can't capture a game using either game capture like a PC game or display capture if window capture doesn't work. But since I don't have a game open, I'm just gonna use an image. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and drag it all the way down to the bottom. This way, it sits not in the same folder get out of the folder there we go it popped into the overlay folder <laughs> if it does that then you just got to bring it down just a little bit more but that will be everything here obviously you'll have a webcam right there so that way it blocks the rest of witch queen and everything like that but that is pretty much going to be your live scene and if you wanted to add other stuff back you could just unhide them for starting soon starting soon is very clean very minimal you don't really have to change anything other than the information for your socials. So if you go into the social media and you double click on any of these, and we'll just paste in Creovox and done. Simple, easy. Just chatting. Just chatting is also very easy as well. So you'll have your chat over here. You'll have your, like your webcam or you can put your video game in there. And then you'll have alerts that might populate so then you have your you know your information here for like subscribers followers and everything like that very very clean very easy one thing i do want to point out though is when it comes to the own chat you can tell that it just kind of stops right here like it or right down here it doesn't go all the way up to the top so to fix that you're just going to go into properties and you can see it's in this, this weird like percentage type deal so the 25 is going to be the width the 30 is going to be the height so all you gotta do is just change the 30 to like, let's say 80. And we're gonna click okay. You can see it did this giant stretch, but that's a little bit too much, right? 
If you did something like this, it's going to make the chat too small to read. If you do something like this, it's going to make it too large and it's going to fall out. So what we want to do is just make sure we're adjusting it to the right height and width that works for you. And I don't know what the correct number is, so we're just going to kind of guess over here. So let's try 60 and 60 sounds good. So we're just going to leave that like that. And that would be the chat. So very, very easy to customize stuff. Very simple. You just have to add a few things here and there. But to have a professional looking overlay that comes with alerts for free and everything like that, this is fantastic to use. But if you had any questions about own.pro or anything about what I talked about in today's video, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you like videos like this, comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.